Intel might be about to change portable gaming in a way nobody really expected, and the more you look at it, the bigger this gets. For the longest time, Intel was just there. Solid CPUs everywhere in laptops, but when it came to gaming, especially handheld gaming, they weren't exciting. AMD slowly took over without making a big show of it. Steam Deck, ROG Ally, Legion Go, all AMD inside. If you bought a handheld gaming PC, you were buying AMD whether you thought about it or not. Intel was basically invisible in that space. Then CES 2026 happens and Intel pulls out Panther Lake. At first it sounds like just another laptop chip launch, but it's way more than that. Panther Lake is Intel saying, we're done playing defense. This is their comeback chip. Panther Lake is built on Intel's new 18A process. I know that sounds technical, but here's what it really means. The chip is better at using power, less wasted energy, less heat, more performance where it matters. And for portable devices, that is everything. Intel is claiming Panther Lake laptops can hit up to 27 hours of battery life. Let that sink in. Most gaming laptops struggle to last half a day doing basic stuff, and this thing is supposed to game too. Now let's get into the fun part, gaming performance. Some Panther Lake chips come with Intel Arc graphics built right into the chip. The top version has 12 graphics cores, and Intel says it's up to 77% faster in games than their previous chip. That's not a small upgrade, that's Intel fixing one of their biggest weaknesses. One reviewer even said they played Battlefield 6 at 1080p and got around 190 frames per second on a thin laptop, not a chunky gaming brick, a slim, portable machine. That's honestly kind of wild. Intel is also using better upscaling and frame generation. In simple terms, the chip is doing smart tricks to make games look smoother without actually working harder. This saves battery and keeps heat down, which is perfect for portable gaming. And then Intel drops the bold claims. They say the top Panther Lake chip beats AMD's HX370 by more than 80% in gaming. They even compare it to the RTX 4050 laptop GPU. That's a serious statement. Now yes, we need real benchmarks, not just Intel slides, but Intel wouldn't throw numbers like that out if Panther Lake wasn't at least close. So laptops are one thing, but here is where the story really gets interesting. Handheld gaming PCs. This market exploded way faster than anyone expected. Steam Deck basically started it, and then everyone jumped in. Asus, Lenovo, others. Millions of units sold already, billions of dollars, and almost all of them use AMD chips. AMD owns this space, no debate. Intel knows that, and Panther Lake looks like their ticket in. Reports say Intel is planning special Panther Lake versions just for handheld gaming PCs. These would be tuned to use less power, stay cool, and still deliver strong gaming performance, basically made for devices you hold in your hands for hours. Older Intel chips did appear in a few handheld in the past, but let's be honest, they weren't great. Battery life wasn't amazing, graphics weren't competitive, OEMs chose AMD for a reason. Panther Lake feels different. This time, Intel actually has the graphics power and efficiency to compete. If Panther Lake can keep decent performance at low power, AMD's grip on handheld gaming could loosen. But this is the big question. Handhelds are brutal. Tiny fans, limited cooling, strict power limits. A chip that screams in a laptop might struggle when you squeeze it into a handheld. That's the real test for Panther Lake. Intel looks great on paper, but we need to see how it behaves when power is dialed way down. Even Valve has said they're not rushing a new Steam Deck. They want a big performance jump, not a tiny upgrade. They're waiting for a chip that makes people say, yeah, this is worth buying again. Panther Lake might be that chip. If Intel nails this, Valve and others might finally consider switching away from AMD. But don't expect this overnight. Even if Intel-powered handhelds are coming, this is likely a 2027 thing. Chip tuning, device design, testing, all of that takes time. Still, the fact that this is even possible now is a huge shift. For Intel, Panther Lake is doing a lot of heavy lifting. It could stop their laptop market share from sliding. It could make Intel exciting again for gamers. And if they break into handheld gaming, that's an entirely new money stream they didn't really have before. For AMD, this is the first real threat to their handheld dominance. They've been comfortable, very comfortable. Intel showing up with real competition means AMD has to push harder too. 
And for us, the gamers, this is the best part. More competition means better devices, better battery life, better performance, better prices. No company gets lazy when someone else is breathing down their neck. Intel isn't just testing ideas anymore. Panther-like feels like a statement, a serious one. Now all that's left is to see if it delivers in the real world. If it does, the handheld gaming space might look very different in the next couple of years.